and sitting. Your back bubble comes with a comfort spreader already attached. The comfort spreader opens the back bubble wider for additional comfort in the upright positions. We recommend you try the upright positions with and without the comfort spreader to determine which way is most comfortable for you. To remove the comfort spreader, follow these simple directions. This is easily done by unclipping the rings from the hooks. Remove the comfort spreader completely by pulling the strap downward while pressing the latch on the buckle. Now, take the strap that is attached to the back bubble and insert it through the opposite side ring. Thread it through the buckle and pull it down while pressing the latch on the buckle. It should look like this. Remember to check your labels, right side outside, left side outside. Squeeze the adjustment buckle and pull on the webbing straps to raise or lower the back bubble. To begin, raise the height of the back bubble until the point on the crease touches you about mid-thigh or at the bottom of your pocket. Next, put your head and arms through the back bubble. Push the back bubble down under your rib cage and center the crease on your body. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Then bend your knees and lower yourself down into the sitting position. Position your feet for comfort. 80 to 90% of your body weight should be on the back bubble. Two things to keep in mind for comfort in this position. Adjust the air for comfort and find the most comfortable place on your rib cage to hang from. To maintain proper positioning, either fold your arms over the top of the back bubble or drop your arms downward and hold your wrists lightly. At the same time, your hips should be relaxed and hanging downward. Really relax and concentrate on the pain and pressure leaving your lower back. Rock gently forward and backward if that helps you relax and move your feet around to find the most comfortable position. Gradually increase your time in this position for maximum results. To exit the back bubble, put one foot behind you and push forward with your feet using the back bubble for support. To get into the crouching position, start from the sitting position. Then shift your feet two steps backwards and bend your knees. You should be on the balls of your feet with your feet just behind your buttocks. Your upper body should be tilted over the back bubble to keep you from sliding down. For the leaning position, straighten your legs, then move your feet back so you're leaning out on the back bubble. Keep your body straight with your heels on the floor and stay relaxed. To exit the leaning position, bend your knees and walk slightly backward to the sitting position. An alternate way to use the back bubble in the upright position is with the bubble against your back. There is zero pressure on your ribs with the bubble against your back In the reclining positions, you must first remove the comfort spreader. This is easily done by unclipping the rings from the hooks. Remove the comfort spreader completely by pulling the strap downward while pressing the latch on the buckle. Now, take the strap that is attached to the back bubble and insert it through the opposite side ring. Thread it through the buckle and pull it down while pressing the latch on the buckle. It should look like this. Remember to check your labels, right side outside, left side outside. Lower the back bubble until it's about an inch off the floor. Put the back bubble around the small of your back at the belt line. The back bubble is right where the pain is. Now hold the strap low with one hand to keep it cinched in. And with the other hand, hold the strap higher and then lower yourself down onto the back bubble. Bring your feet up one at a time and wrap them around the strap. If you have left side pain, your left foot goes on the strap first, followed by your other foot. If you have pain on your right side, your right foot goes around the strap first, and then your other foot on top. Keep your knees slightly bent so you're relaxed. It's best to be slightly suspended off the floor. Gently adjust the back bubble to the spot of the pain. When the back bubble touches the exact spot where the pain comes from, it opens up the joint structures of the back and relaxes the muscles. Now relax and feel the amazing comfort and relief this position gives you. Position two, stretching. You can do core strengthening exercises by simply twisting your hips, which strengthens your abs, obliques, and your back. Next, use your hands to help you twist your hips further. You're helping to keep your back in alignment with this exercise. You may feel a slight click in your back as it's realigned. For a great stretch, put your right foot down and straighten out your left leg. This will give you a hamstring stretch on the left leg. Now switch feet. Right foot up on the strap, left foot down. Straighten that knee out for a hamstring stretch on the right leg. 
Another unique exercise you can do with the back bubble works with the traction spring above and is a way to pump more fluids into the disc area. Just pump your feet lightly against the strap. Any movement like this helps to rehydrate the lower back area. We're basically trying to open things up so your back can relax and you can increase blood flow to the area. Reclining Position Tip If you feel a little lightheaded, get yourself a nice flat pillow and slide that pillow right underneath your head. Immediately, it takes away any pressure you might feel. If you want to feel a little more stretching in your lower back, just push yourself backwards to increase the stretch. If you experience tingling in your feet, all you have to do is drop your feet down. The blood will go right back to your feet and then you can put them right back up on the strap. To get out of the back bubble, drop your feet down. Take hold of the strap and walk backwards, letting the bubble bring you up to your feet. Reclining position two, using a chair. Some people find using the back bubble with a chair is easier. You can actually isolate the exact spot where your pain is coming from. Take one hand and reach underneath to your spine and adjust the back bubble to the spot of the pain. Make sure your knees are fully bent and your feet are on the front edge of the chair. If the chair moves, get a heavier one. You don't want your feet to slide that chair out. Here's an exercise to strengthen your lower back that can only be done with the back bubble. It's called a lumbar curl. Tilt your hips downward and backwards. You can feel blood flowing into the lower back when you do this exercise. Before you start doing strengthening exercise like this, make sure you use the back bubble long enough so that you're not experiencing any more pain. 